Hi everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith with a new Bible journaling process video using the From Where I Stand devotional kit. So I've got the Illustrating Bible in front of me, my traveler's notebook here. I was working through one session and Shauna points us to the song Jesus Paid It All, the Christian Stanfield version. And so I listened to that and the repeated part at the end really stuck with me. Praise the one who paid my debt. It made me think of Colossians 2, 13 to 15, and that's where I'm going to be journaling today. So I've got um, a couple of washi tapes out here, a large floral piece from the kit that I plan on using, along with some stickers from the kit. I love these. The word Fetty, which is just a great finishing touch. I have some printables that I'll use, the prayer prints from where I stand edition, and those are actually my feet and the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use some packaging from the kit, including the sticker that like kept our little glassine bag together. So I'll start by cutting out the prayer print from Elaine Davis. These are available in the Print and Pray shop, and this is going to be kind of like my focal point up towards the top of the page. Now I originally thought about keeping part of the glassine bag here just to add some texture, but it was a little bit too much, so I'm just going to trim around the circle sticker and then use that. I had thought about maybe coloring in the floral die cut with some Faber-Castell brush pens, but decided against it, and I'm really glad that I did. Instead, I'm going to look through my little print and pray folder here. I like to have things like Vanessa's Bits and Bobs, which I'll use in today's um, process video, and some other printables that, um, that release around the same time as the kit releases. And so I love having some additional elements um, to stretch out the kit. So I'm using my tape runner from Illustrated Faith to get adhesive on each of these pieces and then layer them where I originally had them as best as I can. <laughs> I always seem to not get it quite the way that I originally had it. And now that those big elements are down for my focal point, I'll go ahead and add a layer a few more things under there like the cardstock sticker, some of Vanessa's bits and bobs that I have printed on clear sticker paper, and then I'll add some washi underneath there. So the verses that I'm journaling are Second Col Second Colossians, Colossians 2, starting in verse 13. And you, who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, that is Christ, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. So that's Colossians 2, verses 13 to 15. I'm using the Storyteller Typed Alphas to note the three things in this verse that Christ accomplishes on the cross for us. First, we've been made alive with him. Even though we were dead in our trespasses, we were dead in our sin, we have been made alive with Christ. Next, Paul goes on to say that we have been forgiven. He has canceled our record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. He set it aside, nailing it to the cross. And we have been exonerated. I think that's the right word to use in this situation. If you have a better idea or a better word, leave a comment down below. But this is the definition that I found that I thought expressed this thought pretty well. It means to be completely cleared from an accusation or charge and from any suspicion of blame or guilt associated with it. Verse 15 goes on to say, he disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. That last part paints a picture of a triumphal Roman military procession where the defeated king and all of his surviving warriors and the spoils of the war were paraded through the streets of Rome as a public spectacle for all to see. So Christ has done that with our enemy. That's what he has done with all of these demonic powers, defeated them on the cross and triumphed over them. I used a piece from Vanessa's Bits and Bobs with Shauna Klingerman's printables and pointed us back to John 19, where we see the narrative of this taking place. So Paul is referring to what's been described in the Gospels, and I love like having these little arrows pointing back to each other all throughout the Word. It's just a great reminder that it's all woven together for us. I'm going to add one more layer behind this floral piece, flip the page over, trim off the excess, 
I added my date stamp, and the last thing that I'm going to do is highlight the passage that I'm journaling today. With my Faber-Castell brush pen, I will list this specific one down in the video description below. I'm going to draw like a wonky box around that just because I like to do that. <laughs> and then that is pretty much going to do it. So I've got a finished look at my page coming up here in a moment. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you are interested in working through the From Where I Stand devotional kit, it's not too late. We've got that linked down in the video description for you. There are a few kit elements still available in the Illustrated Faith Shop. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon.